Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will discuss some great computer vision projects. Without further ado, let's start with number 20. Building a robotic arm that can pick up and sort objects is no easy task, but Kai and his friends took on the challenge of developing their own automated system. Their goal? To detect colored balls and sort them accurately using a budget-friendly robotic manipulator. They used the Open Manipulator X, a low-cost robotic arm with four joints, giving it four degrees of movement. A standard USB camera served as the robot's eye, identifying the balls based on their color. To ensure precise movement, they first calculated the arm's position using forward and inverse kinematics. To sort the balls, they corrected the camera's distortion and processed the image to detect colors and positions. Once everything synced, the robot seamlessly scanned, grabbed, and sorted the balls. Number 19. Imagine walking past a booth at a maker fair and a robot suddenly locks eyes with you, tracking your every move. That's exactly what this creator built. A custom animatronic inspired by love, death, and robots, featuring realistic eye movement and face detection. The build started with a sculpted model cast in silicone molds, with resin used for the final shell. Inside, an NVIDIA Jetson runs face detection, allowing the robot's camera to track faces and adjust its gaze accordingly. The eye mechanism is powered by eight servos, individually controlling eye movement and blinking for added realism. A Raspberry Pi 4 handles additional interactions, using LiDAR to trigger sounds and lights when visitors get close. While still a prototype, the creator plans to refine the tracking system to reduce overshooting and improve responsiveness. If you ever see this robot, don't be surprised if it stares right back at you. Number 18. Koshiro has built a ball-balancing robot that keeps a ball from ever falling off a glass plate. But how does it work? Koshiro has explained the concept in detail, but here's a simpler way to understand it. Beneath the plate, there's a camera that captures the ball's position and image processing is used to track its coordinates. An algorithm then checks how far the ball has deviated from the center and instructs the motors to move the ball back to that position. This way, the ball always stays on the platform. Number 17. Let's look how the Coders Cafe team is innovating to assist individuals with speech impairments in communicating more effectively. They've developed a wearable device in the form of spectacles that can detect hand symbols and translate them into audible speech in real time. The spectacle's frame is 3D printed from PLA filament. While the design may not prioritize ergonomics, it does have an appealing aesthetic. A small Pi camera is embedded at the center of the frame, capturing hand gestures. These gestures are then processed through a machine learning model, which identifies the symbols and converts them into spoken words via a speaker. This project is truly amazing, offering a practical solution to a real-life problem. Number 16. V Projects has created a tiny device that alerts you when your boss is checking on you while you're busy playing games on your laptop. It's like having an extra set of eyes watching your back. The device uses a Raspberry Pi server and a detection kit. The server is built with a Pi 5, a Raspberry Pi AI kit, and a camera module. While the detection kit includes a Pi Pico 2, a voltmeter, a MOSFET, an LED, and some resistors. When the server detects someone in the frame, it sends an alert to the detection kit. The LED on the detector lights up and the dial moves towards one, indicating a higher likelihood that someone is nearby. Number 15. This robot can detect and put out fires all on its own. Instead of relying on traditional fire sensors, it uses image recognition with the Grove Vision AI module to spot flames in real time. Built with an Arduino Nano, a Raspberry Pi camera module, and a fan for extinguishing fires, it runs on a trained AI model designed for accuracy. To ensure the best performance, two machine learning models were tested, one with SenseCraft AI and another with Edge Impulse. After comparison, the Edge Impulse model proved to be the better choice. The model was optimized to ensure it could run smoothly on the embedded system. Once deployed, the robot can detect fire and activate the fan to put it out making it a useful safety tool. Number 14. Recognizing vehicle number plates automatically can be useful for smart parking, 
toll booths, and security systems. The hardware setup includes an ESP32, an OLED display, and a trigger button. Pressing the button captures an image and sends it to the cloud server via Wi-Fi. The server processes the image, extracts the license plate number, and returns the result to the ESP32, which displays it on the screen. During testing, the system successfully identified multiple license plates, but accuracy varied depending on lighting and font clarity. While reliable in most cases, certain characters like O and Q could be misread. Despite these minor limitations, this project demonstrates an affordable and efficient way to integrate automated license plate recognition into real-world applications. Before moving on to the next project, a word from our sponsor. Altium 365 is a powerful PCB design platform that makes it easy to share your design files with your team. Members can view, edit, and comment in real-time streamlining collaboration. Need input from a software engineer? They'll get notified and can take action right away with easy access to data sheets and materials. You can even send your design directly to the manufacturer, simplifying the process and boosting workflow efficiency. If you're a student looking to kickstart your PCB design career, Altium Student Lab offers online courses and free access to their cutting-edge design software to help you master the basics of PCB design and ECAD fundamentals. Check the description for more details. Number 13. If you've ever wanted to build your own AI-powered camera, this project is a great place to start. Eric designed a simple yet effective setup using an ESP32 cam inside a cardboard box, along with a push button to capture images and a screen to display them. But how does it recognize objects? Here's how it works. The ESP32 cam captures an image and uploads it to a Node.js server which then calls the Google Vision API for image analysis. Once the object is identified, the processed image is sent back to the ESP32 cam, providing detailed information about what it sees. With this setup, you can easily identify and analyze objects in real time. Number 12. Meet AutoBill, a fast and effective setup to generate shopping bills, thus reducing the checkout time. This project might look like a product, but it is completely DIY. It identifies the objects using a camera placed above, while the load cell at the bottom weighs the object. The object along with its weight, price, and quantity is then automatically added to the cart and the bill is generated, thus omitting the need for human involvement. The users can simply pay the total amount and collect their groceries. Thus, it reduces the chances of forming long queues. Number 11. Tired of standing over a trash bin, second-guessing where to toss that plastic wrapper? The makers at Microsoft built a Raspberry Pi-powered trash classifier that instantly tells you where an item belongs – landfill, recycling, compost, or hazardous waste. Using Loeb, a no-code machine learning tool, they trained a TensorFlow model by feeding it images of different types of waste. The model runs on a Raspberry Pi 4, which is housed in a custom-built case with LED indicators and a push button to snap a photo. Once an item is scanned, the system analyzes it and lights up the correct disposal bin. No more guessing. This project could make waste sorting way easier for everyone. So, would you build one? Number 10. Manually sorting objects can be a tedious task, but this project makes it effortless with automation. Here's how it works. A servo-powered gripper picks up the objects and places them onto a conveyor belt. As the belt moves, an IR sensor detects an object and pauses the belt when it reaches the camera. The captured image is then sent to a web browser where TensorFlow Lite performs image classification. Once the object is identified, the conveyor resumes movement and sorts the item accordingly, making the entire process efficient and hands-free. Number 9. With this project, you can detect hands and fingers using Python and transform them into a gesture-controlled virtual mouse. In this demo, a webcam tracks hand movements, demonstrating how image recognition works in real time. Moving your index finger controls the cursor in any direction, while lowering your middle finger, with the index finger still up, acts as a click, 
making interactions seamless and intuitive. To run this on an ESP32 cam, you only need to adjust the dimensions and frame rate in the code. Everything else remains the same, ensuring smooth integration. Number 8. Running OpenCV on an ESP32 cam is not that easy, but by following this project, you can do it. ESP32 cam captures the image and uses canny edge detection with the OpenCV library in real time. Once the code runs, the screen displays the TTGO demo for three seconds. After that, RGB mode, grayscale mode, binarized mode, and edge mode are executed repeatedly. The canny edge detection requires the most computational power. Hence, the FPS of the displayed image is low, but on average, it displays the image with 6 FPS. Number 7. With this project, you'll learn how to build a QR code scanner using the ESP32 CAM module and OpenCV. QR codes come in different versions based on the amount of data they store, and this project allows you to decode even complex ones with ease. To scan a QR code, a Python library is used to process the image frames captured by the ESP32 CAM. The code extracts these frames, deciphers the QR code using a library function, and then displays the decoded data on the screen in real time. Number 6. Can a football game become a high-tech, interactive experience without breaking the bank? Murtaza set out to build a tic-tac-toe football wall, not with expensive sensors, but using computer vision and webcams. Traditional interactive football setups cost upwards of $13,000 due to specialized wall sensors. Instead, this project uses two cameras, a projector, and AI detection to track ball hits. One camera detects when the ball makes contact, while the second determines where it lands. With YOLO object detection, a custom-trained model improves accuracy, identifying ball hits in real time. Ensuring accurate ball tracking required fine-tuning the detection model and adjusting the cooldown time to prevent multiple detections per hit. After three days of testing, the system works with 70 to 90% accuracy, making it perfect for casual play. Number 5. Improper waste disposal is one of the concerning ways that is polluting the environment. To address this issue, Octar decided to build a neural network-based robot that can classify different kinds of trash with the help of Edge Impulse. It runs on Python scripts and can be operated remotely. The laser scanner guides the robot around its environment, thus avoiding obstacles. As it travels around, it captures images with the webcam, which are classified by the neural network, ensuring efficient sorting and disposal. Number 4. Counting some limited objects is easy, but if the number is too large, then you may definitely need some help. For that, this little project can be of great use. To detect the object, it uses a step-by-step -step method of image or frame conversion. Initially, the RGB image is converted to grayscale so that the color contrast is visible and mathematical operations can be performed easily. After that, the image is blurred to blend the colors, and using canny edge detection, the edges are detected. Finally, to properly join the detected edges, the image is dilated. In this way, the number of closed figures is detected and printed on the serial monitor. Number 3. What if you could play Minecraft without a keyboard or mouse? Gabriel built an AI-powered gesture control system that lets you move, mine, and interact, all with hand movements. The program runs on Google's MediaPipe AI, which tracks hand landmarks and calculates distances between key points. OpenCV helps estimate head size for scaling movements, while a custom algorithm translates gestures into in-game actions. Instead of relying on traditional input methods, the system uses multi-threading to process each action separately, keeping gameplay smooth. But there's a catch. It's not perfect. Running requires rapid hand spasms, crafting is a struggle, and combat is really difficult. Still, for a project that reimagines how we interact with games, it's an impressive feat. Number 2. You've probably seen this eerie TV effect in horror movies, the one where a ghost appears beside you on the screen but the moment you turn to look, it vanishes. Spooky, right? But how does it actually work? This illusion is brought to life using an old black and white TV hooked up to a Raspberry Pi 3. 
The trick lies in a small camera hidden inside the screen's headphone jack, which captures the scene in front of the TV. The footage is then processed through OpenCV, running face and eye detection algorithms to track when someone is looking at the screen. When the viewer looks away from the screen, a ghostly figure suddenly appears, lurking behind them. But the moment they turn to check, the apparition vanishes, just like in classic horror movie tropes. It's a simple yet incredibly effective way to spook anyone. Number 1. In this project, you'll learn how to run Depth AI on a Raspberry Pi using an Oak D Lite camera, enabling real-time object detection and spatial awareness. This setup allows you to gather detailed information about an object's position in physical space. To get started, you'll need to install Depth AI on the Raspberry Pi. Once the demo is running, two screens will be displayed. The left screen shows a color feed captured by the center lens, providing a standard visual reference, while the right screen presents a stereo depth view using both side lenses. This depth screen displays an extended disparity map, which helps calculate distances and create a 3D representation of the surroundings. With this, you can accurately detect objects and their positions in real time, making it ideal for AI vision applications. If you've made it till here, then drop a like and subscribe to our channel to keep supporting us. Comment the project that you loved the most. We will be back with some great ideas soon. Till then, goodbye.